Hi everyone, we cry together here. Today I wanna talk about The Bread the Devil Need by Lisa Alan Agostini. First thing first, content warning here. Uh, there are explicit detail of abuse in the book, whether it's physical or sexual, whether it's to adult or to a child. The title itself is a saying, for example, be careful or you'll eat the bread the devil need, which means that uh, a life full of miseries and trials. But I think it's a double meaning by itself because if you ever seen a video or if you ever need to yourself, you know that needing to is roughing them up, eating them, throwing them around. It's a lot of abuse being done to the dough itself. And the devil itself in this book, I think it's the people around her that abuse her. The book tells the story of Alitia Lopez, an independent working woman from the lower class economy, who hides and pushes away the reality that she is being abused at home by her partner. And we also know that as a child, her mother hit her a lot when she is a child. So she grew up being hit and then as an adult, she also lived her life. Being hit. She becomes so familiar with bruising skin and broken bones that it just seems like it's the norm for her to live that way. I think it's a very powerful story that tells the destructive nature of denial and then the effect of how you grew up and the society and the environment you live in when you grew up as an adult. The story is told in a Trinitian way. If you've watched uh, the new Cyberpunk Edge Runner, it's how the dog talks. So it, so it might take a little bit of time to get used to it, but uh, if you heard a lot of music, I think you'll get used to it fast, and then it's all okay after that. Using the Trinidadian structure really helped the author paint the picture of the area that she lives in. The poor black just wants to be white so it can be better. The rich black wanted to be white because obviously. And then the poor white just want to be less miserable. And the rich white just wanted some excitement. Everybody in their life wants something and it really shows in this book. The book also helped paint a picture where people's expectation of love for some reason is real low. Some people actually think that this kind of behavior they need to put up with because this is the price of love. It's because their perception of love is so twisted. I think it's because there are actually a lot of movies that paint the picture of love where there are highs and there are lows and some lows can get really low and then they'll paint this as something romantic which by the way is fucked up and not true and there are also people who put up with verbal abuse because they think at least they're not getting physical with it which is are you listening to yourself yes Verbal abuse is not as bad as physical abuse, obviously, but it is still abuse. Why do you put up with under normal people behavior when you can have normal people behavior? Listen to me. You deserve normal. Whatever your gender are, everybody deserves normal. If your partner is not a decent human being, leave. Everybody deserves better. Nobody should put up with abuse. It's a really good story with well-written character. You can deal with heavy topics like the book might tell or if you're looking for it, I think this is an essential read and I think if you can handle it, you'll appreciate the story that this book told. That's about it.